Hello, guys. Let my four team here. And we're back with some more epicosity, man. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Forbidden Memories. And so, last time, we got a bunch of story stuff, and we met the uh, Yugi. Met uh, Prince, uh, shall I call him Prince of Tin? Let's say Prince Yami Yugi. Uh, Yugi met Prince Yami Yugi for the first time, thanks to uh, Shadi's help. And we summoned the Gora Turtle of the Flames versus Yami Bakura, and we ended our turn. Well, at least he's leaving stuff in attack mode for us to attack. That's good. Uh, but yeah, we ended up in a pretty epic duel here against, uh, hmm, I think this will work. Yeah, these two by themselves will make a queen of autumn leaves. Okay, and we already have moon. Let's try Jupiter. I'm trying to figure out what's super effective against this guy. So far, nothing. Nothing doing. Alright, let's see if we have any stars. Oh, we're right. We need a uh, sun for that. Well, I guess we'll start this off with an animation. Mainly so I can explain what happened last time. Um, yeah, so we met Shadi here at the tournament. Uh, and Shadi informed us that all seven, all seven Millennium items are on this vessel. Yeah, basically, you know how in Battle City uh, all the items are gathered in one place? You know, it just so happens to be. It's the fate of the Millennium items, you know, to eventually be drawn together. So, that's pretty standard lore. Lightning Storm. Um, but, uh, no. Uh, more on the story. Uh, so, using Shadi's Millennium Key, we were able to enter the mind of the Pharaoh. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the Prince. And Yami Yugi. And, yeah, there, he didn't really say much, but they communicated telepathically with normal Yugi. And he handed us seven blank cards. Pretty strange stuff. But, uh, well, let's end the turn there. Uh, yeah. And so it looks like... You know, much like in the plot of the show, we're basically going to be running into a bunch of Millennium Item users. So, man, we need to draw a mountain bad, dude. Okay, so can I uh, fuse with anything on the field? Hmm, machine, pyro. I kind of want to keep this because this is a pyro, basically. You know what? Maybe this will work. What if I summon that face up in fence? Will he come attack it? I hope so. Because it seems like we're not going to draw a mountain. If mountain is like the last card in our deck, that's going to suck. Okay, regular Thunder Dragon. <sighs> Glad you're not fusing into Twin Head at Thunder Dragon. <gasps> it's a miracle. Please don't have Magic Jammer. Please don't have Magic Jammer. I activate Montagna! Tony Montagna! Oh, at last, can we finally take down the Behemoth, the Millennium Shield? Let's watch. Heart of the cards. <laughs> Man, if that, if our one and only mountain had been the last card of our deck, I'm pretty sure we would have lost. You know, because there's only so much many attacks you can get in. You know, and the AI is going to be fighting you back the whole time. So, heart of the cards, baby. Heart of the cards. Now, mountain powered lightning strike. Get out of here. Awesome. Now, the one thing I don't like is Yami Bagura still has four cards face down. Those could be anything. Those could be dark holes, could be like power ups. Worst case scenario is like they're all power ups for one single monster. That would suck. Um, so, in the meantime, in between time, 2100, this thing is. Um, we actually can't beat it. That is funny. Okay, well, we'll uh, def de <coughs> defend here. Uh, we'll put Queen in, atta in attack mode because, yeah. Please don't fuse into Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. I beg of you, sir. Okay, he's playing another magic card. I don't like that. Or trap. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That sucks. Another one? Wow. Okay, 
So I'm not sure what a Spellbinding Circle does exactly in this game, but you saw Queen of Autumn Leaves was significantly uh, weaker. So I think we're going to have to fuse our second Twin Hit at Thunder Dragon just to make sure there's no more shenanigans. Oh, and Josh, 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 pick Moon, pick Moon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Oh, no, we can beat it. Okay. All right, this one attack. Oh, a trap. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. Ooh, you scared me there for a second, Yami Bakura. It was just false trap, which negates an attack. It was so weird. Uh, he had all those cards face down for so long, but... Uh, yeah, he never activated false trap when he had... Uh, <laughs> and this thing's all the way down to zero. That sucks. Uh, but, man. Okay, please, no more power-ups. Or power downs. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind if you damage that. I've already taken damage, so... Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, and we got Raigeki. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're in the clear, guys. I think we're in the clear. Let's try a warrior and a fire. Or will this make a zombie warrior? Zombie warrior. Okay, good job. Alright, I think we're in the clear, guys. Um, let's go with this. No traps? Good. Oh my god, dude, how did we win that game? Ooh, and luckily for us, luckily for us, he only played one of his Millennium Shields. And yes, this is spoilers now that we've beaten him. Uh, Yami Bakura, aka Florence, he has three Millennium Shields, three Labyrinth Wall, and I'm pretty sure he also has three Wall Shadow in his deck. So we got very, very lucky that he only played one 3,000 point defender. Ah, I guess I, Florence, won't be claiming the Game Master title. Fine, you can have your friend's souls back. But next we beat, I shall win. You can never conquer me for good, because I am Kira. I mean, the darkness. What? Uh, ah, my, my Millennium Ring. It's being sucked into a card? Impossible. Ah, the ring, it... I'm sorry, Yuki. It used me, my good friend. Ah, oh, thanks, Yuki. Now I'm free of the Millennium Ring. I'm no longer possessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Good one, Bakura. Good one. Nice sarcasm. I see you. <laughs> Not possessed. <laughs> Get real. The ring's too strong for that. Keep focused, Yuki. Think. Friendship. I mean, winner. Now, what do you want to do? Well, I definitely want to save after that two-parter. Okay, guys, well, we still haven't lost in the tournament yet, you know. Knock on wood. But I guess we'll just uh, keep going. Like I said, we're just going to go till we get bounced. I th honestly thought Yami Bakura would bounce us. Uh, but this next person just might bounce us, too. Court all final match. Maxavillian Pegasus versus Yugi Moto. Which hair is Supiter? Well, well, Yugi boy, it seems you've come a long way in this tournament. But I invented this game. I am the creator of Duel Monsters Maxavillian Pegasus. Now you shall face a world of pain, a world of absolute madness, a world of cute and cuddliness, a world of tunes, Yugi boy. All right, does he have tunes in this game? Eh, probably, I mean, tune some schools like 2500. I could see them giving him tune blue eyes. Now, and now watch, someone's in the comment section is gonna be like, um, actually, Flood, there are no tune cards in this game. Well, I did not know that. If there are no tune cards in this game, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. So I don't know everything about this game. I definitely don't. Uh-oh, stronger than 21? Mmm, Bakuri Box, emerge and attack! Oh man, what a deadly monster. Uh, luckily we have... Should I go for Ushioni? No, no, no. What I should do is go for Stone D in defense mode. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe he'll, uh... Maybe he'll switch to defense mode. Let's try Mars. Am I super effective? Okay, thankfully he doesn't have the star on us. Alright, what you got, Pegasus? What you got? I summon a monster! And then I'll switch my monsters to defense mode in my turn. Okay, good, good. Okay, so now we need... We need some good stuff here. Uh, unfortunately, looks like the best we can do is the Queen of Autumn Leaves. 
Hopefully she'll have a good guardian star. Jupiter, please. What do we got? 2,000. Okay. And yeah. So I'm gonna leave Stone D in defense mode and we'll just attack this other card. Meteor Dragon? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, this might be where we get bounced out of the tournament. Just saying, just saying. We start off really good here. Meteor Dragon and... Actually, I'm sure there's, I'm sure Pegasus could have started with like a 3,000 3, point uh, Toon Dragon. Or if he doesn't have Toon Dragon, I'm sure he could have started with like Dark Magician or heck, maybe this guy even has Great Moth, who knows. We're about to find out. You don't know now, but we can find out. All right, so we take a little damage there, but at least we reveal, you know, what we're working with here. All right, please don't play Raigeki. Pegasus, please don't. Please don't fuse either. Don't fuse. You know. uh, oh, Yamadrine. Okay, we can handle Yamadrine. That, that I'm not worried about at all. So, okay, can we get something over 2,000? Over 2,000. Oh, where's a machine when we need it? Uh, hmm, I guess. This isn't going to make Flame Swordsman, is it? Well, I'll try. Pyro and this. This is just, yep, Cherubrin, darn. Uh, let's try Mars, see if anything is super effective. Nope, and I don't want to attack this with Stone D, because then uh, Bakuri Box will come in attack mode, so. Unfortunately, we have to assume the defensive is, oh, okay guys, it's over. All right guys, uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, well, we tried guys. What can I say, we tried. But he drew the out, he drew the Raigeki. Darn. Darn. <sighs> yeah, now we get Mountain. Uh, and no Thunders. We didn't see any Thunders this match. And no Machine either. Wow. Well, uh, you know what? Just for posterity's sake, let's try these two. And let's see what's, if we can figure out what's super effective against McCurry Box. Oh, he's Moon. All I needed was Sun. All I needed was a Machine. But we just... We couldn't get it in time. He drew the Geki. So, yeah, that's that, guys. We have, at long last, finally met our match in this tournament. Yamadron, attack his brains card. And the curry box will take the last of your mo monsters. There are no monsters you can play, Kaba boy. Therefore, you lose. Hmm, looks like I'll be taking your Millennium Puzzle, Yugi boy. And the winner is Maximilian Pegasus. It's okay, we made it a lot further than I thought we would. Let's see what he has to say for himself. What do you have to say, Pegasus? Mmm, Yugi boy. I tell you, victory is so sweet. Ha, huh, you are foolish to challenge me and my millennium eye. All right, and indeed we were, Pegasus. Indeed we were. But, I'm never gonna give up. That's my Nindo, my ninja way. All right. And so just to show you guys, if we go back into the campaign here. So let's load, load our file. Yes. And Pegasus does have the Millennium Eye, I'm pretty sure in this game. Uh, that's not really a spoiler at all. So if we go back to the campaign, what do you want to do? I think this will prompt us for uh, Pegasus again. Uh, let me check the last card we got. Build deck. Because it was that weather control, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we did remember to save. All right, well, with that being done, I actually want to return to title here. What do you want to do? I want to run away, Taya. Return to title, please. See ya. See you later. All right, we still got... I think we can keep going for maybe about 13 more minutes let's go to free duel let's go to free duel so now that we made it that far in the tournament here in free duel you'll see lots of people we didn't have before so yeah now we have uh we had settled before but now we have high shin you know from when uh he uh defeated us with the guy of the dragon champion and gamed over rex from the tournament these people are from the tournament weave wonderwood my valentine bandit keep the ones we beat in order, Shadi and Yami Bakura. And of course we have that Duel Master K. So, 
for the rest of this episode and um, some of the upcoming uh, episodes, you know, now that we got uh, bounced by Pegasus, I think this is the perfect time to start like a little grind uh, for cards montage. So, uh, the next, I'd say easily, unless we get extremely lucky, which could happen, unless we get extremely, extremely lucky, um, the next, uh, let me start going here, the next about 10 or so episodes, it's just going to be all card games. Uh, in fact, I might not show you any animations, just so, you know, we speed it up. Unless we, uh, of course there's an exception. If we summon something, like, super iconic, you gotta show the animation. And I will, so. Uh, let's see here. Well, we can make, uh, Pumpkin. Let's do Pumpkin. Alright. But, uh, yeah. So that's the plan for the next, now that we've hit the brick wall. Honestly, I thought Yami Bakura was going to be the one that bounced us first, but we got some extremely lucky draws all throughout the tournament. At one point, Mai had us kind of pinned down, but we, we had the Raigeki able to come back, so yeah, uh, I guess this is what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, don't take what I just did as a sample for like a realistic expectation at the tournament. Um, like, for example, the first guy, Rex, uh, Raptor, he can easily fuse into stuff with, like, 2,800 attack. And if you just can't get past him, you know, you just can't. You just can't, you know, with whatever deck you have. So, yeah, just keep trying your best. You know, go to Free Duel. Uh, I recommend Duel Master K, especially if you're new to, game, to the game. Or if, especially if you're, like, even if you're skilled, right, but you're just up against a brick wall and can't seem to win no matter what. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, Deckmaster K the most. Well, why? Well, because he has your cards, so he may show you, you know, one or two fusions that you just didn't think you had, and that can make all the difference, you know. So, yeah. All right. All right, so let's do, like, one or two more duels, and we'll call it a recording session. What do we win, Rex? I know Warrior Fiend. That's got a thousand points, I'm pretty sure, which is better than some of our other warriors. Let's go ahead and duel. Who do we want to duel here? You know what? Let's duel Rex Raptor again, actually. Yeah. One more again. One more time. Yeah, this is a warrior. I'm pretty sure it fuses with other warrior stuff. Uh, let's go by types here. We're gonna start getting out some of the weaker parts of our fusions. This is a female, though. I will replace. I'll replace Doron. Not too much stronger, but still. You never know. That 100 points could matter. Could be the difference between an S rank and an A rank. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Any fusions? Ooh. This hand's looking rough. Uh, let's just set this and end the turn. All right, Rex, the floor is yours. Uh oh, Black Dragon Jex. This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. Rex, Rex ain't nearly as easy as we made him seem in the tournament. Oh, well, okay. So all we need is a dragon. All we need is a dragon. Let's dump these two cards. My dragon's horny. I attack. Right. What's next? Oh, oh, Doron. Okay. Okay. We can handle Doron. Yes. All right, guys. Part of the cards. And once again, fusion ha, and another fusion ha. Oh yeah. And this will be an epic battle. Twin-headed thunder versus its uh, previous involvement. It's like watching uh, Blast Wave versus uh, War. Sure, let's go. With that. I need a drink. Luckily for us, Rex didn't draw into a thunder, or he was just too dumb to do it. Now, Rex, let's 
see. Oh no, my horny dragon got the feel. <sighs> oh yeah, Beavis and Butthead. Alright. <laughs> so I saw him this like generic insect or something. <laughs> oh man, why didn't I say that in the episode? That would have been funny. Uh oh. Oh, it's just Ushioni. It's just Ushioni. Guardian Star? No. Alright. Pretty good fusion to see, though, if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, let's just go with the Grappler. Yeah. Grappler. Um. Attack Boron. And Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Get him. Sorry, Yushi, I need to do it to you. I know you've been with us a long time, too, but I'm gonna try to win here. Try to win some good cards. So. Alright. Ah, and now you shall face the power of my Yushi Oni Rex. <laughs> nice. Well, and you didn't attack Grappler, so. Oh, okay. Called your bluff, buddy. I thought he might have a 2,000 point defender, but I was like, no, that was Weeble with all those high defense ones. That was Cornholio, not uh, the other guy. Beavis, butthead. Oh man, grappler, huh? Keep that thing away from everyone and everything. I don't want to see it grappling anything. Jeez. Okay, just kind of a power slam attack. Man, I've seen Machops do a better size when toss than that, Grappler. Come on. Get your stuff together, boy. Alright, so we're going to wrap this duel up. And that should be the last duel of this uh, small recording session. We're going to call it the Tournament Saga Arc recording session. That actually sounds pretty good. Alright, Lightning Storm. <laughs> Every time I say Lightning Storm, I think of a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. <laughs> I've been playing some of that lately. Uh, I've shown some clips here and there, but it's just like, eh, you know, I don't want to show too many. Uh, ooh, this is the first time we've drawn this. Does this work? Oh, it does. Oh, right, right, right. Just in the Mabelus. I was hoping for a little something with a little more, shall we say, flare or flames? Some of you pros in the comment section know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you if you know which fusion I was hoping those two would make, leave it down in the comments below. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure some of you know where my brain was hidden. But I guess the Wing Beast has to be stronger than uh, 1300. Everyone knows insects are weak against fire. Now take this. They're also weak against peck attack. So ha. It's super effective. Yeah. Alright, we win. Maybe this does look... I like those wings, though. They look almost golden. It looks... The art? Very good in this game. Alrighty. We win. Don't know why I attacked with Ushioni. I don't know. Maybe maybe I should go for extra damage bonus. Eh? Maybe that'll give us a better rank. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know everything about how this game works, so... Alright, Rex, can you drop us a dragon or something good? Like a magic card. Battle Warrior. Oh, you know, I did say earlier in the LP, I want to see if bam, both the Battle Warrior's animations attack with his bare hands. But, uh, yeah, let's check out his uh, thing. A warrior that fights. Yeah, a warrior that fights with his bare hands. Yeah, that's my card. What you doing with the Rex? I will swap this out just for the fun, funny factor. Uh, so <laughs> I know we just put you, put you in here, unknown warrior. But uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go for the meme status. All right, guys. But that's it for today's episode. I want to thank you all for joining me and. Uh, yeah, feel free to let me know, like, if you may even made it to the tournament saga in this game. Um, if you played this game before. Uh, who did you struggle with the most in the tournament saga? Yeah. So I left a couple comment questions. Feel free to answer those in the comments below. Or not, if you know, if you just want to keep uh, chilling and watching the Let's Play, or you just want to stop by and leave a like, you know, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Hey. As long as you, you know, kind of swing, swing through, it really does help support me. So uh, I appreciate it. 
or leave a comment if you want to do that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys all next time. Have a good day, and have a good weekend. Why did I say weekend? 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 <laughs> My post is on a Tuesday for all I know. Good weekend. I've had better. I've had better. I've had better. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you know what? I'm probably gonna watch that movie this weekend. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, Google it. Or I'm gonna look it up on YouTube and see if that movie's free. Liar, liar. Great movie. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Bye.